Do you remember that trunk lid that I was showing you in a, a number of videos ago? Uh, it was brown at the time and it was part of a refurbishing project for a trunk. Well, this is the lid. Um, it's been fixed and I've put some milk paint on it now. And I must say, I think it looks pretty crummy, actually. Um, I didn't expect this, the one coat of white to cover the dark surface very well. So that's why we've got all these splotches. What I don't know if you can see or detect here is, listen to this. It's pretty rough. Um, milk paint is a powder that you mix with water and it's not unusual to get some, some lumps in it. I, I power mixed it with uh, a big spade bit in my drill to make it as dissolved as possible, but we still have a lot of bumps here. Um, my plan is to use some of this 180 grit sandpaper. I'm going to be sanding by hand. I've actually already started here on the end. Uh, it does sand quite nicely. I've just sanded the end here and it's very smooth. So I'm going to be sanding like this with the grain. The, the bumps come off quite well. I'll give it a little bit more than that. And then I'm just going to see how it looks. I mean, as I said, I, I'm not crazy about it now. I'm thinking that it's probably going to need a second coat to even that out a little bit. But definitely not until I sand it smooth. I'm also going to strain the milk paint through a screen to try to make it smoother. And then we'll see what happens. The, the end result will be a kind of intentionally worn look. I've started to do it here. You know, with the dark showing through in that kind of shabby chic sort of way. That's the effect that we want. And we've got some old uh, weathered metal hardware we're going to put on here as well. But that's where we're at now. And just a bunch of hand sanding to do and then I'll, I'll come back and show you what that looks like and whether we need a second coat or not. Well, I'm all finished sanding now. It sanded up quite nicely. It, it feels really good. But it doesn't look all that different. So I am going to be giving it a second coat. I haven't shown you yet the milk paint I use. This is the stuff here. It's um, made in Canada, which is the country where I live. I first started using this Homestead House paint back in 1987 when I was working at a cabinet shop. We made solid wood cabinets in an antique style and milk paint was part of some of the designs. It's a powder. This one happens to be Sturbridge White. It's a powder that you mix with water. This is what I mixed it in before. As I said though, for some reason there's uh, there were some lumps in here. So I'm going to strain this, add some more powder, and uh, mix up some more water. I'm going to clean this off too. This is the um, this is what I use to mix things like this. Nothing fancy, just an old wide spade bit in a drill. Uh, it doesn't mix very well by hand. It's just a lot of work to mix it by hand, and the likelihood of lumps is even higher than with electric mixing. So that's what I'm going to do next, and I'll show you what it looks like. This is a little more like it. Now, this has been sanded at the top here, and I've used a small fuzzy roller to put on this next coat of milk paint. I'm glad I did because even with the roller it's not covering the dark stain that used to be here very completely. I think it'll be fine once it dries. You can see the reflections there. It's not exactly a new car finish but the, the advantage of the milk paint approach is that it kind of looks banged up and rough in a nice sort of way. Not that it really looks that way now. It's kind of an orange peely kind of surface, but once that dries and I start to sand it through uh, here and there around the corners and different places to simulate wear, I think it should look pretty good. Um, that's, the, that's the way I've done other projects like this before and it's always turned out well. So 
I'll show you when we get to that stage. Thanks for watching. Click here to join the thousands of people who get the Bailey Line Road hands-on how-to newsletter for free every Saturday morning.